good boy. Oh, oh, I promise we are gonna make sure you are okay. This little guy is happy right now, and I think it's because he knows I'll keep my promise. But he didn't come in this way. And understandably so, because someone just dumped him at Night Drop. What is Night Drop? It's a safe space where pets can be surrendered. You enter through there, it's open at night, you go fill out all your information, and then you're able to safely put the dog in this area right here. That's where the attendee comes and gets the dog out in the morning. When someone puts their dog in right here, the dog is now safe. They're not crammed in there, they're not uncomfortable. Okay, but hold on, wait. Did you catch what I said at the very beginning of the video? I said dumped, not placed. Someone likely threw him over that wall right there. They didn't even have the courtesy to place him in a kennel. I am sorry that you were dropped off and I don't know what you've been through, but you're safe now and you can relax a little bit. Now stay tuned for Pugsley's story because it is filled with suspense. It even includes a family that might adopt him, but then they decide maybe it's another dog they wanna adopt. The wait alone to see if they would pick him had my heart beating out of my chest. Seeing a scared dog is heartbreaking, but seeing two siblings that are huddled together and scared, I can't handle it. I've got to go in and sit down with these two and see if I can provide them even just a moment of comfort through compassion. It's gonna be okay, I promise. I know it can be a scary place, but I also know this is a really happy place. They're both about one year old. They just came into the shelter. And I don't know how far I'm gonna get with these two. They don't seem interested in affection. I'm gonna try my treats. Hey, look at that. It's gonna be okay. We're gonna get back to hugs and snuggling and love. Oh yeah, <laughs> you're the treat taker? I just need something and my treats give me that little hook. Now I'm thinking maybe we can make some progress. Also, can I just be honest here and tell you, I love these awkward moments. Like I don't want them to be scared, but <laughs> but in this moment, that little leg up right there, dude, it's so awkward, it warms my heart. I don't know, it's cute. Is it just me? They don't have names, so I'm gonna give them the temporary names of Anna and Elsa because my daughter's watching a lot of Frozen right now, yes. But also because they're sisters, I huddled together, they only have each other. Elsa is interested in treats. I think I can draw her out a little bit, but Anna, she is not, and she's letting Elsa lead, and I need to get her a little affection too. So I'm gonna try to sneak her a treat and distract Elsa with some treats. Did she take it? She took it! Look how much trust Elsa's giving me. Fear can do interesting things to us and it absolutely shuts the dogs down to the point where sometimes they don't even eat. They don't know that that food is there for them. So I'm trying to introduce her to her food, let her know it's there, it's gonna be okay. She can eat and drink water and nothing bad is gonna happen. And look, she's letting me pet her. If I can show Elsa love and support and she starts to trust me, Anna will follow suit, but I don't want to put too much pressure on Anna. Let's see if maybe I can get them a warm bath. I think that'll give them a lot of comfort. So I'm gonna go talk to Mel and see if she's got room in her schedule. There's a family interested in Pugsley, which is so exciting because if he can get adopted that fast, wow, that would be great. I actually had the chance to ask Brittany, their mom, what they were looking for in a dog or what they weren't looking for in a dog. A smaller dog, that's what we need, you know? It's just something a little smaller, friendly with children, and yeah. that doesn't bite. <laughs> and it doesn't bark that much either, which is nice. Right, yeah. right. I mean, he's just barking. He's barking, barking, barking. And that's the one thing that she said she didn't want. No, no barking, no barking. <laughs> but, but here's the thing that I'll tell you is a dog behind the kennels is not the same dog as when they're out in the open in the right environment. Like you cannot judge, I guess, a book by its cover or a dog behind the kennel bars because it just creates such a different environment and reaction. I mean, imagine if you were locked behind bars, you might, you might behave a little differently. Now they're running around the shelter. They might be thinking about another dog. Ugh. I mean, I want any dog to get adopted, but I just, I've just fallen in love with this little guy. Oh, okay, they've requested a meet and greet with Pugsley, but I just hope he doesn't bark. 
Please, buddy. Okay, but here's some great news while we're waiting for Pugsley's meet and greet to be set up. Mel can groom Anna and Elsa. Cheryl's even gonna help out because they are so scared. The reason I asked Mel to groom these two is not because they're incredibly dirty or anything like that, but because grooming can really help a dog feel their best. She takes her time to take them, and although they're terrified, I know Mel has the gentle touch to make them feel their best. This one's even more scared than the other one. She gets them used to her touch first by gently brushing them out. They're a little tangled, but thankfully it's nothing too bad, and they can easily be brushed out. Make this so pretty. When it's time for the tub, she makes sure it's nice and warm to relax them. She even makes sure to use a shampoo with lavender aroma. Yeah. They're doing so good. Now, and that's going to help because lavender has a natural calming effect on people and dogs alike. Now, Elsa was scared, but Anna is even more fearful. Her little legs shake in the bath, but Mel won't give up. She takes her time with each of them and treats them gently. Oh, nice and clean. Even though they're anxious, look at how well they behave for Mel. You can tell they have a sweet side for sure. Even when the scary dryer comes into the picture, both girls wait politely. They know Mel is doing good for them. Wow, look at them now. Their bandanas absolutely bring out their confidence and you can tell they feel so much cleaner now. Sometimes people ask me why I do this and it's because of these moments right here. Me sitting with them combined with Mel grooming them, look at what a difference it's made. They wouldn't even go up to you at first. Now look, this will certainly make it easier for them to find their forever home. Okay, the family has made their rounds. They've looked at all the other dogs. I'm just waiting on the front desk to give me the go-ahead to let me know that the meet and greet is set up and it's happening. It seems like this wait is taking forever. Okay, the, the whole family's back with him right now, so I'm gonna go check in and see what's going on. I'm getting a little nervous. He's not really paying attention to them right now at all. He's getting distracted by the other dog and I'm worried he's gonna start barking away like earlier. I have an idea. I'm gonna try treats. You guys want some treats? Oh yes, please. Yes. Get a treat from me. Puppers! Thank you, Smash. Oh, even the treats right now don't seem to be helping much. Thankfully, that's when this happened. Over here. Oh, grab the treat. Oh, look at the toys. Oh, you like toys? Okay. Oh, that's it! Sometimes dogs are motivated by affection, others by treats. In this case, toys. This is going great, but will it be enough? While they're doing that, let me introduce you to this guy. This dog needs serious help right away. I'm gonna need those scissors today because that cocker, I'm gonna be cutting out a lot of hair probably. This is Ted. He is a six and a half year old Cocker Spaniel. And he came into the shelter as a stray because he was out wandering the streets. As soon as Mel takes him out of the room, the smell just hits her nose. He's absolutely filthy. I might want to put gloves on. Look at this. <gasps> so heavy. And it could be more than just a smell. It could be a sign of an infection. I'm guessing he's gonna need antibiotics. You seem inflamed. And I could just smell the odor of him. Mel knew she was gonna have to get cozy for this one. She has her work cut out for her. Look. When I shaved that, I went right to the skin. That's how matted it was. Oh, that feels so good. That's why she, he's scratching. I asked Mel to rate how bad he was. I'd say between one and 10, he's a, he's a nine. Only reason I give him a nine is because the whole back of him's not matted. This is a heavy, solid mat that's really weighing him down. Once I get this off, I bet he'd stop shaking so much. And hey, I don't blame him for wanting to shake. I actually sat down with him earlier, and although he was excited to see me, it was clear just how bad his condition was. I couldn't even figure out how to pet him without hurting him with all of those mats. And I begged Mel to take him in and groom him. Okay, back to the groom. You see how Ted is looking at Mel like, I trust you. That's gonna help a lot. Mel also describes how a mat feels, and I think it's a pretty good way of describing it. Listen to what she says. It's like that ponytail in your hair. It just is too tight and it keeps pulling. At some point, you want to just get it out and rub your head. Rocky will be amazed to see how a dog that's so matted will hold so still and good for you because they know you are helping them. This probably took at least 
I want to say six to eight months to get like this. I, I'm just guessing. When you have a Cocker Spaniel, they need to be groomed every eight weeks at least, I think. If it wasn't to the skin, I could hold the hair up and go like this and keep some length. But when it's to the skin, there you can't. That pile of hair already looks like a wig with just how big it's getting. It's almost a whole nother dog. And look at his legs. It's like he's wearing leg warmers. They're just not nearly as stylish or comfortable. But whoa, take a look at how Ted's acting. He was so jumpy when I sat with him, but now he's being so still and silent. That's how you know Mel is taking amazing care of him. Just for context, this part of his grooming alone took nearly two hours. Months of neglect has led up to where he is now. And I'm just thinking, thank goodness the shelter took him in when they did. When Mel gets him in the tub, she can feel sores on his skin. Skin is probably irritated from all the matting. Mel washes him twice to get everything taken care of. First, for all the dirt, the second one to soothe his skin. Matting is harsh on dog's skin, and our little Ted is no exception. Although Ted couldn't keep most of his coat, it's gonna grow back so much better. I don't know if you feel the same way, but isn't it so relaxing seeing this? Oh, and when you feel how relieved Ted's feeling right now, Look, he can hardly contain his excitement after the bath, but this is pretty much the only time he couldn't sit still. Okay, all that needs to happen at this point is some drying and clean up on his coat. Ted's a pup that's good with other dogs and loves to play, and with that little tail wag, I wouldn't be surprised if he's adopted right away. You can just tell he's feeling like a new dog, wow. Oh, and like I predicted, Ted was adopted. He goes by Teddy now, and I could not be happier. No. No, 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 no. I just realized because he came in as a stray, there's probably a five-day hold. Alexis, hey, isn't there a five-day hold on a stray? Yes, so we gotta give them some time to potentially find the owner. I mean, good, yeah, good. Uh, I hope they find the owner. If it was my dog, I would hope that I'd be able to find my dog at the shelter, but also if it was my dog, I feel like I would be there the morning of knocking down the door. But you don't know, we have to give them the benefit of the doubt. Maybe they're in the hospital, who knows? And since we know this guy was literally dropped over the wall into the night drop carelessly, I mean, who knows? Maybe it's better he's here than wherever he was before. I got his card. Okay, so he was abandoned in the night drop. The family's gotta know there's a five day hold. I just hope this doesn't change their decision on whether or not they want to adopt Pugsley. Okay, while they're making the decision, I gotta tell you about this next dog. And warning, it is emotional. This dog is skin and bone. If the owner comes to get this dog, they need talking to. This sweet dog has been nicknamed by the shelter, Greta. She may not look bad at this angle, but when she stands up, she's heartbreakingly skinny. Also looking at her, I think she was probably used to breed. Now she just got to the shelter, but the staff has already fallen in love with her and wants to see her get better. Despite everything she's gone through, look how quickly she jumps into the tub for Mel. She is just the sweetest thing. Look at her coat close up. She is extremely dirty. We're gonna probably have to wash her a couple times. I asked Mel what kind of life she thought Greta might have lived before getting to the shelter. Somebody's backyard that they didn't probably pay any attention to her. But she probably was infested in fleas. She has nothing on her now because they probably treated her when she came in. After washing her multiple times, it's finally time to dry off. I mean, ugh, look at that drain. <laughs> Greta started getting excited just seeing herself in the mirror. How cute. This girl shows all the best parts of her breed. Look at how fantastic she's behaving. Now, the only time she got a little jumpy was when Mel found tree sap stuck on her neck. And trust me, I don't blame her. That sticky mess is on like glue. And all done. Look at her coat now. It's glowing. And the pink bandana is the perfect finish. Look, Greta's going to take time to get back to health, but she's going to be well worth it for the right family. You're a local celebrity. Have you read all the comments? No. You need to read the comments sometime because they say things like, Mel is a superhero. Not all <laughs> heroes wear capes. Like... <laughs> Yeah, I'm glad that dog got groomed, but can we just talk about Mel for a minute? Oh, like, no. <laughs> oh, Are you yeah, me? everyone loves you now just as much as we do. Oh, Greta, we named her Greta, the boxer girl. How yes. was she? So sweet. I'm a boxer have guy. You, I know she told me that, oh. and I tell you, I have never groomed or been around a boxer that was sweeter than her. Okay, I'm gonna go meet she her right now. She just captured my heart. I think you will she fall in sweet. love with her. Oh my goodness. Yeah, goodness. go meet her. Okay, I'll go, I'll go see her. Okay, 
Okay. Okay. I know you don't like that camera. I get, I get it. I get it. I have some treats. Do you like treats? Look. Whoa. Oh, here, here. <laughs> You're not very good at taking treats. <laughs> oh, it says shorts now. I'm sorry. Let, here, let me drop it from above. Here you go. Watch it. Watch this. Watch this. Is that funny? <laughs> She's got to have it come from the top. Here, you want a you want a big Mondo treat? Look at that. Good girl. Oh, she's so sweet. Yeah, she, I mean, you can just tell from her nature that she's been through it, I, you know. I never like to put something on a dog that may or may not have happened, but sometimes you just feel it, you know? You just know, like, whatever she's been through, it wasn't good, and, oh my gosh, you're like a drool machine. You boop in the camera. <laughs> Please don't eat the microphone. <laughs> okay, oh, it's a good girl. You wanna sit in my lap? Oh, okay, that's cool. Uh, oh yes. Maybe we, maybe we've kind of both been through it the last couple months, huh? I'm sorry. Whatever it is, girl, I'm sorry. I just want to pick her up, load her up in the truck, and take her home. I don't think Kelly would mind. <laughs> it's like just sitting here with the dogs. I do it for the dogs for sure, but it just also just fills such a hole in my heart sometimes. You know, here I am. A couple months ago, losing my best friend, a boxer, and here she is, a cute little sweet boxer that's been through it. As I was sitting there with her, I couldn't help but think that, I don't know, maybe Flip put Greta and I in the same path and somehow guided us to be together, even if just for a moment. It's like she understands me, I understand her. There's nothing else in the world that can do that but a dog. I always, I always go as far as to say a rescue dog. Well, and I was tearing up for sure, but I, I don't want to let her know that. I just feel like I just feel like it could be Flip's way of saying it's okay dad I'm in an, I'm in a good place now where I'm at I'm happy while I'm not here physically my spirit will always be with you just feeling her heartbeat so calling oh I'm sorry whatever you've been through I'm sorry and from here on out it's going to be okay I promise I promise you need a butt scratch you're so, she's so skinny, so skinny. She's even put on weight since being here. Ready? Hup, hup. <laughs> she's not leaving. You're not leaving? I gotta get up, I gotta get up at some point. Okay, all right, at some point, you're gonna have to, <laughs> she's fighting it. <laughs> you're the sweetest dog I think I've ever met. I'm not gonna lie, it wasn't easy to leave that room. I don't know how I'll take her home, honestly. Well, you would be happy to hear she does have a hold on her. What? Mm -hmm. Oh, that's good. Oh yeah, she does. You might be going home, girl. You might be going home. Look at that sweet face. You might be going home. Okay, and also it's time to find out about Pugsley. I just had to ask him finally, what are you gonna decide? What do you think? Do you think this is an adoption? Yes! <laughs> Okay, what about mom and dad? What do mom and dad think? I think so. I think, I think he's perfect. Yeah, buddy. You're going home. You're going home, my man. Yay! Yay. Oh, 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 you're so happy. Get a video of his face now versus his intake picture. Oh, I know. <laughs> Another dog saved by animal friends of the valleys. One, two, three, cheese. Okay, good. Yes, it's not official yet. There's still a five day hold. Bye guys, hopefully we we'll see you Friday. You guys. Okay, all right. So make sure you subscribe and check back. I will keep you updated. If you want updates on any of these dogs or any of the dogs that you've seen in my videos, just go to rockykanaka.com, I'll have it. I'm also gonna put a link to a video where we do updates and we'll, I'll do these regularly because I think you all really love them. So I'll put that link in the description below. Just click that or it'll be right here. And yes, a lot of you are asking me, I make my own dog treats. I bake all of them and these are the treats that I'm giving to the dogs when we're sitting in the kennel. So I'll link that down below. When you buy these treats, it helps support us in our efforts to help more dogs. I guarantee your dog will love these treats. They're great for training. They're great for everyday snacks. And if you have a picky dog, absolutely they will not turn my treats down because it's all human quality ingredients. I just make it for your dog. Again, all of this at RockyKanaka.com.